All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to uh, uh, Colonial Kids Podcast. Um, I'm Andrew McHugh, as you know. So what you're looking at right now is the Robert Carter house. Uh, wonderful pictures of them. This uh, this is the front of the house. The house is ginormous, if I may say so. It's a very nice color, and you can see that the colors are changing. Like in the one before, it was white, and now it's green. Um, there's a covered breezeway, and then there's another corridor over to the right, if you can see it. And that's called the office corridor, and the other one's called the breezeway. The breezeway was unique for the period, and for this house. Here's a very good picture of it. And on the right, you can see there's an office, uh, there's a little house that's the office, uh, the Robert Carter office. And to the left is the Mackenzie Apothecary, and right behind the breezeway is the Robert Carter kitchen. Um, there's, it's made of, uh... Wood in the front. The windows, of course, are three windows in the front, and then on the second floor, it's three stories. So here's another picture. As you can see, it was paint yellow at one point, um, and there it shows a good picture of the Mackenzie Apothecary all the way to the left and the breezeway. This is it during the winter time. All the way down on your left is the Mackenzie Apothecary. You can see the uh, breezeway there, and our lovely picture, and the reef on. Uh, uh, porch, um, and to very cool, looks like, uh, passerbyers. So, um, in a minute we're going to go to a picture of the reef that's on there. These reefs get hung up, actually, in, um, the day after Thanksgiving and stay up until New Year's. They get changed out, um, and people have the choice of either making their own or, uh, having the done professionally. This one was done professionally for the house, and so it's the one for the kitchen, the apothecary, and for the, um, office. And the doors here we're looking at, um, are shutter doors, and you might be wondering what that little gold tag that's just saying it's a private residence, um, and you can see the drain niche down there on the bottom, uh, very unique for the period. Um, here's a picture of the office, and then to the left is the office corridor. Again, at the winter time, a beautiful, beautiful picture right there, um, I have these as my backgrounds. Of course, it's the house I have, so I love the house. Um, and to the right is actually the governor's house, which we'll be seeing in another picture. We're going to go to a quick picture here, um, or a few pictures, of just some of the flowers that are in the backyard. This is, I don't know what it is. And this is what they use for the reef. This is how they match it up. So, And then we're going to see a nice little picture of a birdie on the fence with some flowers in the background. Uh, that, I've seen that. that. It's very beautiful. When I saw this picture, I had to go see where it was shot. And here's a picture of the kitchen. You can see the breezeway on the left, and they're uh, right in front, behind, I should say, the, uh... Uh, okay, right behind the kitchen. Oh, sorry. And, uh, that was to keep out, uh, fumes and to prevent fires. Um, you have a very nice well to get your water also right there on the left. Um, which I have used personally. And the kitchen is a fully furnished house. We use it as a guest house. Here's another picture of the kitchen. It's a wonderful house. Um, and they do use it. Here's a, uh, coming up is a drawing. And this person drew a lot of pictures in Williamsburg. And uh, we're going to have a podcast on just these pictures. I'm so happy that our part of our property is one of them. Uh, here's the brief breezeway, actually, and to the left is the kitchen, to the right is the governor's palace. You can see, actually, in the right there, in the right between, above the fencing, is a gate, um, and that's the governor's mansion. It's a very nice view of the governor's mansion when you wake up in the morning and the sun shining through. Benches, uh, we sit out there all the time. So, it's just a beautiful house to be living in, um, and it's unique. Coming up is a picture, um, I know it's a bad picture because... Of course, no colonial boy would be a general, but except for me in the movie. And then the breezeway's in the back. The girl's perfect. And this is a uh, perfect outfit she's wearing. This is just some people chilling on the uh, porch. I believe that's the back or the front. Here's a picture of Mackenzie Apothecary to the left. And then um, the house is on the right and then the breezeway. And then you can see the back there is the kitchen. This is taken from across the pal screen. Very wonderful picture. Um, 
here's a picture. We're going into backyard pictures now, so if you're wondering what's next in just a few moments. All right, here's the backyard picture. Um, it's a beautiful, wonderful backyard. A lot of people say, is there a golf course back there? Because you can see how nicely mown the grass is and everything. There's a lovely porch on the back. And actually, that picture of the guys in the coffee, I think that was on the back porch, actually. Those are some of our producers. <laughs> um, one, wonderful people there. This is actually shot during a storm. Um, so, wonderful porch. Again, here's another picture coming up. Of, it's a massive house, if you're looking back. It's f um, five windows in the back, and that's one of our producers, actually. And three windows in the front. Um... So, actually, that's not our producer, that's our costume designer. Excuse me, sorry. Um, and this is just a nice picture of the back. Again, looks like a golf course. It's amazing. I, I think, I just love it. And this is something that's beautiful about Williamsburg, is this property is quite enormous again. So is the house. It's the second biggest house next to the governor's mansion on Williamsburg property. There's a lovely lake back there. And this is slowly moving out, this picture. I can see it. And on... T okay. Here's just a little bit of uh, what the house looked like. It got some damage right there, as you can see in the bottom from uh, Hurricane Irene. So, And then this is uh, Robert King Carter, the grandfather of Robert Carter, who's coming up right now. That's Robert Carter. And he gave birth to John Carter, who I play in the movie. So it's wonderful. Here's just an early adaptation of what the house looked like uh, without the breezeway in the corridor. Here's a, with the car, office corridor and the office, the house. And this picture coming up is a very old picture. You can see uh, that's an actor, of course, with a slave, acting to be a slave, in the front of the house. Um, and that's a floor plan of what the house looked like when they were doing renovations for the movie. Um, the property owned a lot of uh, carriages. This was one of them, the blue carriage, and that was actually in front of the Robert Carr house. And to the right was the governor's mansion. I'm talking quickly. This was the open carriage, um, and then they had the full carriage. They had two carriages Robert Carter owned, um, and this was the closed-in carriage. And that's it just right there. And then you're going to see it uh, as we used it in the movie. Uh, that was used in a different movie. This is the one that we... This is the... As we used it in this movie. Um, it, here's me, of course. So, um, wearing a very nice outfit, I thought. And some people are back there, obstructed. It's a very cozy interior, and you have, as you're going to see in the next picture, a nice handlebars that you can relax your arm on. And I think in the background is the Robert Carter house. So, it's... Robert Carr House is my favorite. Sorry. But, um, it was ju it's just a wonderful thing. Thank you. Shut